All right, yo, real quick, let's talk about Trece. Trece, Trece, Trece. Trece Leches. Um, Trece, uh, show, six episodes yes. on Netflix. Yes, yes. Filipino folklore. Yes. Interesting as fuck. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Watching it felt like um, American Dragon Jake Long meets like Batman. Which is which they talk about later yeah. on, sort of. And after after Dark Thing. Yeah, which you put me on. Yeah, if you watch the show, I highly recommend you watching um there's a like a the making of kind of thing. It's called Trece Trece After Dark. It's just it's, like, it's not spinning. <laughs> it is, though. You didn't hear them say it? They're like Trece. Alexandra Trece. I didn't hear that. Yeah. It's like Guerrero motherfucking the detective, the captain. <laughs> Okay Captain Guerrero That's his name Bro you put too much No, no, no. You gotta stop it <laughs> Appropriation That's my people though fullest. That was nice They appropriating us That we <laughs> talk about Yo They jacking my shit <laughs> Fuck out of here dog Hey yo We allowing them to use the names Got it Fuck out of here okay. bro Fuck out of here Nah but if you watch Tra uh, Tracy I highly suggest watching Tracy After Dark Which they discuss You know the making of the things With the comic Cause it was a comic originally yeah, 2005 Drop on 05 Yep Yeah and um, the actresses, by the way, she's no. So the, the chick that was in that, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. The so chick that was in that, she's the she's a Filipino uh, voice actress. Not for what's her name? Tressa, Tressa. Alexandra. No, nah. it yes, was Shay was. Mitchell. Shay Mitchell is the English. Oh, and that chick uh, was for the Filipino. Got it. God, definitely looked up like who is the. She's <laughs> Bad, like, yo. If there's if there's anything I was not if there's anything I was not anticipating was homegirl looking like that. Nah, nah. I was nah. like, golly, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I was, yo, yo. I didn't give a fuck about none of them niggas, but she was, yo. She was out here like you got me looking like a thirsty nigga, bro. And it's funny because Shay Mitchell, I used to have the biggest crush on her. She was on like uh, Pretty Little Liars and like all these other American shows. I was like, yo, she's mad pretty. I seen her. I was like, bro, like who? That's a dime, nigga, bro. And she would say nothing interesting throughout the whole thing. <laughs> but she was out here looking fine. And I guess she's American, but she, like, yeah. grew up with people who know. Well, she's like, Filipino. Yeah, but, like, her family taught her some things, but she didn't really invest in that culture and everything like that. Yeah, she grew up in the U.S. Yeah. So it's almost like if you're fucking Puerto Rican, but you grew up here. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Because I feel like even if you're Puerto Rican, you still know some of the shit from way back home. If you have Depends on your parents. If, if, yeah, if you, you yeah. know. But... Um, nevertheless, I highly recommend watching it because they discuss a lot of things. And if anything, I feel like this, yeah, this gave me a lot of Batman vibes, a lot of John Constantine vibes. Yeah. Right? Um, it's a show where they, it's a detective. She's kind of detective, right? She She's basically the Sherlock Holmes character that, like, uh, is basically the, the liaison between this supernatural world yep. and the human world. Yep. She basically keeps everybody in check. And it has a lot of horror elements, so it's not... It's it's a little darker than you know, it's more John Constantine esque. Yeah, it's probably how I would describe it for sure. And it's honestly it's really dope. I, I the only thing that was tripping me up, especially in the beginning, was how quick they were going. There were so many things happening that I didn't understand exactly what was going on. It was kind of similar to not similar but sort of kind of to I Dragon Quest. See that. How it was just throwing a lot of things at me, yeah. but I wasn't really understanding everything. I'm like, oh wait, do I need to know something? Am I, I missing something? It. I feel it. But they really dig deep into the lore, into the folklore of the stories that come out of, uh, you know, the Philippines and yeah. all that shit. And it's really dope. It you have fucking Nuno and all this, like, the, the goat and, like, all these animals and supernatural beings or whatever that take place in this world are really, really interesting. Which carry you throughout the beginning of it. And then it sort of, I think they kind of catch their step later on. Yep, yep. Episode three by far is their favorite, the best one, though. Really? I like episode, what was it? I think it was four, the Suicide Bomber people. Was it five or four? Suicide bombers? They do stepped up in the in the bar and just yelled out whatever it was. And he had the thing on oh. his chest. And after that, they just showed a whole bunch of people just doing it all across. Like yeah, town. that was a, I like that one. Uh, I like the one before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was three, and that's the one where the chick, she's the actress, and mm -hmm. she's wilding out. Uh, she had a kid and she threw it out. Oh yeah, she was. She, yeah, she was yeah. wilding out. She was bugging <laughs> out. That bitch is crazy. Don't fuck with actresses. Yeah, they just look like that. She's like ah. You like my act? Yeah, yo, that shit. I'm telling you, episode three was my favorite one. That shit was that shit was fire. Um, but yeah, definitely by far it, the most interesting thing is the fact that there's a lot of folklore in here with all this other stuff that you, yeah. I've never heard of. Of course not. You know what I mean? Their culture doesn't really get sent over here. Yeah, and it's kind of dope to see it for the first time. Yeah, and I think I, I 
appreciate it too because I love mythology. I love lore. I love all that stuff. Yeah. So for what's us, it's just see something different. Bro, like, when's the last time you ever heard of um, Filipino folklore yeah. mythology shit? Nigga, never, 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 never that I know they jacked our shit so heavy though. <laughs> Half the motherfuckers have all our names and shit. Yeah. But, yeah, that shit was fire, dude. I'm surprised that, um, I don't know if it, if it went trending on... Uh, oh, I have no idea. On Netflix or, if you know, how well it was able to do. But I hope that it gets a season two. And... It seems like it's about to. The the ending looked like it. They set it, they set it yeah. up, but I don't know if it got greenlit oh, for yeah. it. You sure. know what I mean? I hope, I'm hoping Netflix is able to cut out the checks. But fucking what was uh what stood out to me uh, most was the fact that they went with this dc yeah. art style and animation yeah you know what i mean as opposed to more anime uh esque i think what was it oh, i'm blanking but the studio was like their first time doing something like this too yeah like they killed it yeah. like, studio beam i think is what it's called um it's like a uh, singapore or something some some studio i figure where it's at but for their first attempt at making an anime you make this is like bro you got something good yeah no they, they did a really good job yeah they did a really really good job i'm really happy that they were able to uh put this together the uh thing that stood out the most was the art for the comic is like low-key kind of fire oh, i didn't check it out no they showed it in the uh, trust after yeah, dark yeah, yeah and they showed a couple panels i was surprised that it was black and white i thought it was going to be in color mm-hmm. and it should look kind of dope you know i'm not gonna lie like the little oh, bits yeah. and pieces that they showed I was like, oh, this shit, this shit kind of interesting. Okay. More than I was anticipating. Yeah. Um, and yeah, honestly, overall, I think people should definitely check it out. It's it's a lot of fun. Definitely sure, a lot of fun. For sure. Um, you might not understand a couple of things here and there, but if you if you stay with it, you're gonna you're gonna. I think it's a pretty good payoff. I think especially after coming off of uh, Castlevania, I think yes. this is like a good like. Yes. You want some more of that? Here it is. Yes. One thousand sure. percent. I hope Netflix is able to uh, fund this because I think it could. I don't know if it carry the carry the torch. I think Castlevania Castlevania is a big monster yeah. to carry, but yeah. it might, you know, be kind of right there. You know what I'm saying? I see something it. for I you to it. munch on until the next Castlevania drops or whatever. But it, I think they definitely bought it. Yet. For sure. Yeah, I was honestly uh, wary that you weren't gonna a either like it or finish it because I told you, yo, just watch up to episode three. Just, yeah. I just want you to watch up to episode three because episode three, you know, my favorite, <laughs> uh, and it was more than enough for you to talk about it. But I didn't think that you bodied it. I, I yeah. I told you like if I'm gonna watch three episodes out of six, like what's the point? I just should just finish at that point. So, because nigga, I mean I, I made it work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was dope. I like I liked it a lot. Yeah, I kind of want to rewatch it to be honest, because like I want to see if I can go back and like like you said at first it's kind of fast you to understand where you should kind of be. So I want to see if I run it back while I like, enjoy it a second time like more. Favorite characters? Um, favorite character. I, I got mean, you. The twins. Not. The main character, she's dope. Tracy, fire, yeah, nigga. And the fact that, that she was supposed to be a man, like, nah, like, yeah, that's I like right. that. I like that. Yeah. That's why I be saying, like, usually I feel like they make a man, like, some type of way and a girl a different type of way. You can make a man and just make it a girl and, like, it'll be a It'll girl. be ill, nigga. Yeah. You get this girl. You get her. Exactly. Like, she's fire. She's putting in the work. Like, she ain't soft. Like, she just puts fuck shit up, bro. Yeah. She fuck shit I up. I love it. I love it. She's one of my, she's up there now. Like, my favorite females. I agree. Like, yeah. I fuck with her. I so like it, it takes a girl to be more like a guy for her to be likable. Nah, they, just, they just play to certain tropes. Like they they want the female to be so weak and like so like uh, I need to be saved, the damsel in distress type of stuff. Like yeah, she, certain, was, she was having niggas being damsels in distress. Yeah, like, hell yeah. Like just make her strong, a powerful character, and like I, I mess with it. I don't care if it's a male or female. Just make the character a dope character. You know who was dope too? The the her homeboy on the Nokia thirty three ten. That nigga. I don't know much about him because they didn't really explain much. <laughs> yeah, but she was just dial up. And yeah. Then he was coming through <laughs> the fire thing yeah that was, what, that was what, whatever that was i don't yeah. know what it was but that shit was fire i want to look no into their their um the lord now for sure like it just sounds so interesting i want to read the comic okay but there's just no translation of it over here Ooh, okay which is kind of disappointing yeah but i agree because i think there's the comic and then there's the the legit shit like yeah. whatever you know whatever the real stories are mm-hmm. you know what i mean because i'd never yeah it's just something that i'm not and exposed these are, like to. stories are like Bedtime stories for these people. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what like she was this, saying. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of crazy. Yeah, because she was like, "Yo, apparently there's this thing that if you pee, if you pee, if you piss on trees, yeah, you yeah. lose all your hair because of some <laughs> fucking thing." Yeah, I don't know what it is. She said it in Filipino, but I don't know. Uh, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I'd never heard of that. Yeah, you just lose your hair because you piss on trees. Crazy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Any any final thoughts on it? Nah, I think I think um, we should support more like properties that are from other cultures. I know there was um. I'm blanking on the name, but we watched it a, a while ago. What? It was um the dude that had, like the tiger and like uh his, his sister got kicked in a hole. Three hundred. No, the anim- animated. 
kicked in a hole? Yeah, and he like fell in after her. He was kind, and he like oh, uh, Onyx Equinox. Yes, 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 yes. Country Room. Um, I think it's just cool to see di- different people, like what they believe, what their traditions are. It's cool to see different things instead of the typical Japanese, whatever. Like I, I get it. I love that too, but I just want something different. Zoos can definitely go to the bench yeah, for a couple of years for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Thank we you. Appreciate it very much. Uh, do us a favor if you like what you saw, head over to the main channel. You can watch the full episode. Subscribe. Thanks. Yep. Peace. Peace.